Happy Monday and good morning. I'm meteorologist Mackenzie Lake here with a look at our full Monday forecast. So we have one last day of this heat wave here before we start to cool back down and we'll see a little bit more marine layer influence into the work week. But we woke up to clear skies here in Santa Barbara and temperatures were rising pretty quickly. So 87 degrees there by about 2 p.m. Mostly sunny skies throughout the entire area. And I do think today is going to be a pretty pleasant day to head to the beaches. And keep in mind, if you actually want to get into the water, our temperatures are finally starting to rise. We're getting into those summer months now, so you don't need a wetsuit if you are heading in. Still going to be on the cooler side. We're only into the middle to upper 60s here, but it's a great day to head to the beach, stay cool, get into that water. And keep in mind, waves are only going to be one to two feet, so not great for surfing, but still really good to be outside enjoying the beaches nonetheless. But let's take a look at what watches, warnings, and advisories we have for the day. So again, just one last day of heat. We have that high pressure system that's causing warmer than average conditions for those interior areas. We have this excessive heat watch, that's our warning, that's an effect until about 8 p.m. Same thing for this heat advisory. This is for the entire south facing beaches. That's where we're expecting the toastiest conditions today. So a great day again here in Santa Barbara to head to the beaches. We also have a red flag warning. If you remember just last Friday, we did have this red flag warning for the entire south facing beaches. It did include Santa Barbara, but now it's confined more to the Gaviota coast. So we're still expecting humidity to plummet down to possibly single digits, but this does expire by 11 p.m. So sundowner winds, low humidity values, practicing fire safety is still going to be very vital. But good news for us, after we head into our Tuesday and Wednesday, onshore flow starts to strengthen. We'll be seeing a bit more marine layer clouds, and I think we'll be feeling like fall as we head on into our weekend and then even our extended forecast looking to be well below average. So it's been a while since we've seen this map on the cooler than average side, but you can see all of Southern California looks to be on the cooler side. And again, more feeling like fall as you are heading out the door into the later half of this work week here. But here's a look at our south facing beaches. So 80s and 90s. Again, this is one of the warmest areas here for the beaches. Most other beaches warming into the 60s and 70s, mostly sunny skies here. Inland areas, nice and toasty, 90s in Beaulton and Santa Inez, 101 there in Koyama, overnight lows cooling into the 50s and 60s. We just have those heat advisories and that red flag warning to keep in mind. Again, I think those winds near the Gaviota coast will be pretty blustery, a little bit on the breezy side of Ventura County, but those temperatures into the 70s and 80s. Have a good one.